All right, guys, welcome back to another Division 2 build video. With the new Heartbreaker set out, there's quite a few interesting ideas out there. But today, I came across something different. With the new Intimidate rework, as you guys know, it's gradually changing the way that the stack of Intimidate, you know, piles up. Now, interestingly, using this at close range, combined with the Heartbreaker kit, which provides you with that bonus armor, for me hits harder than using Perfect Spotter or Spotter on the chest. And the reason I think this is going to be more valid for something like a, a, a PvP and pretty much Conquest is because the damage can be sustained with that additional armor. So let me just show you guys what I have here. Crit hit chance of 50, 76 crit hit damage, 55 headshot. And of course, we've got five cores for that kind of, um, you know, survivability. The other thing is you can probably add uh, a red core to that. It would still be fine. But the gain that you get in bonus armors is based on your total, total armor value. So it kind of just helps a bit more you have. Now, of course, the Coyote Mask really does help with crit chance and crit damage, which by default is a bit low on the set. So that's why we're running it. On here, we've got the Honey Badger because it's the hardest hitting AR in my view. Um, and I just enjoy how it plays. That can take the specialization, uh, the, the technician specialization link pointer um, attachment. So the link laser pointer, which provides us with consistent pulse. We specifically want consistent pulse and not rely on headshot damage because we want the stacks to build up as fast as possible. Now, even though the backpack gives us the 2% gain from hearts, um, the 2% stack bonus, the chest piece only limits itself to 50 now that we do not have the full set. So if you use the full set, we'll do a different um, video on that. But when you look at the chest piece, you'll get. 50 to 100 uptick now you only have 50 and it is just at that level consistently so let's quickly just run through the full build overview we've got the honey badger with uh, flat line we have the dare with perfect flat line of course this one gives us the automatic spot because of the technician class this does not we still need the headshots we've got the Kayat Mask, pretty much crit hit damage, crit chance. It's not perfect yet, but we're getting there. On this, we've got armor, crit chance, crit chance. Armor, crit damage. Armor, crit chance. And on this guy, we've got crit chance as well. Now, this Fenris, I haven't maxed out yet. I wish I had, but it's what I have with Intimidate on it. Um, still need... It would have been ideal if we could change weapon handling to crit chance or to crit damage. But that's uh, unfortunately just the way it is. I play with the extra pulse because sometimes it's just nice to see where people are. And um, I use the shield because, you know, it's probably not a bad idea to, to have that available um, just at the last minute if it feels like you're going down and you just want to get some stacks up. But um, probably in PvE, I will, um, in PvP, I'll switch this to the protection drone or possibly something like... Um, well, actually, what would I? Would probably go for the Defender Drone, the Decoy, or probably something like a Sticky Bomb that we can just fire off ASAP. And that's kind of the build. So let's see what it does. Check out this name chap. I'm just going to build all these stacks as fast as we can. So we're almost at 50. Now we've got 50, and we've got Max Intimidate. Now we're hitting for what three, four hundred over ten meters. We get it on, f get it a bit closer. Just look at that, six hundred seventy-three, six six six, and it just keeps building. There you have it. This thing absolutely melts. So that's kind of the idea that we've had about this. Let's go into some gameplay and I'll show you guys what it does. It should be interesting. 
Stacks are building up. There goes the rogue agent. Oh no. Well, I almost didn't make that, but I just face planted two rogues on heroic with this build. It's nuts. I love it. And it's probably going to be meta, man. I'm telling you. But I've got another build coming out later, um, which is more focused on PVE and the LMG. And I hope you guys enjoy it. But um, I hope you found this useful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, possible new content coming. Um, not so much builds all the time, but when I come across something, I'll probably will um, upload that for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.